Today I would like to address you concerning a pair of verses found in the second epistle of Peter, chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, saying that his divine power has granted to us everything pertaining to life and godliness through the true knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and excellence. For by these he has granted to us his precious and magnificent promises. Focus your attention on the two words that describe the promises of God, precious and magnificent. They're precious because they are not mere platitudes. They work. They really work. They provide us with functional guidance for this life, this time of crisis. In the past few days, I have given you nine of these promises with the intent that you would claim them, that is, that you would use them in your life. We began with Isaiah 41.10 and we ended with promise number 9, Isaiah 41.13. These promises are also magnificent, and they're magnificent because they are problem-solving devices that are freely given to you, and that's grace. They have their source in the glory and the excellence of God. And by that I mean His infinite sovereignty, His righteousness, His justice, all the way down to His immutability and veracity. These promises are precious and magnificent. Don't lose them.